talk about Louisville was obviously about their offense. They have a pretty good defense too. Right. Uh, how much do you look at that film and try to correct mistakes, and how much do you just try to look forward to the next next opponent? No, I mean you can't move on, right? You gotta, you know, really look at it and, and see what you can get out of it. Right? We don't need to harp on it. You know, mm -hmm. we're on it as long as we are normally. You know, every week we got a short week. You know, we played earlier, so we can't really afford to kind of sit on it like we usually can. But you know, we got what we need to out of it, and we're moving on. Mm -hmm. Florida State defensively, a lot of speed. They've got that guy, Tavares McFadden, who's leading the nation in picks, and he's got seven or so. Right. Uh, looking at their secondary, what can you guys get done? We're going to have to get some stuff done. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're really good up front. We're going to have to be able to throw the football to win. Um, and it's going to be tough. You know, they're a really athletic bunch. They're extremely well coached, play hard. It's going to be a big challenge for us, but we're ready for it. Yeah, you guys have played in some tough venues and, and played in, obviously, going to Ireland, some interesting uh, situations yeah, on yeah. the road. This is going to be as tough a venue as you guys have played in. I know you sure. played in the SEC, so you played yeah. some really uh, tough ones as well. But mm -hmm. kind of talk about what you have to do, at least coming out early to kind of yeah, not yeah, let yeah. the crowd get on top of you. Yeah, um, yeah. I mean that's exactly right. I mean they're gonna they're gonna play hard. You know, it's a Friday night game. You know, they're gonna be ready to go. Um, it's a you know prime time, so um, they're gonna be ready. Um, it's our job to worry about us and worry about how we communicate. We we usually do fine um, in, in places like that. Uh, but it's a challenge. Um, you know, it's gonna be, it's gonna be rocking. But we're excited for it. Yeah, I heard you guys pumping in the war chants. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you mentioned communication. Uh, how much does it change going on the road, yeah. not being in the friendly compound? Yeah, well, we're in a huddle, um, so it's a little different. Um, a lot of those no huddle, no huddle teams kind of struggle because, you know, they don't have the confines of a huddle to really kind of, you know, keep a sound in. Um, so we don't really struggle too much in a huddle. Um, I get for back to the end zone, it can get kind of tough. But um, when we go to our no huddle stuff, it can be a problem. Internally, what are your observations of Anthony Brown? You know, since spring to training camp, mm -hmm. progressing. I mean, he's a he's a he's a really really talented football player. I'm glad he's 17 or 18 years old in red shirt because he might be playing ahead of me. But um, he's a really really good player. A really really good player. Great kid. And he's going to be. I mean, if he gets you know three four years with Coach Leffler, he's going to be really really good. I'm jealous that I only get one. I noticed you didn't redshirt. Did you think? Uh, is that, do you think that helps a quarterback? Yeah. Well, I did my, my second year at oh, okay. UK, I did. And it's, it's imperative. It's imperative. Um, we always say you're a lot better player when you're 22 than when you're 18. So you might as well you know, save that year till the end. Um, it got me a chance to come here, redshirting. So yeah. um, I'm a huge fan of it, um, especially at the quarterback position. It's huge to have that kind of year to develop. That's what I was looking at Francois. He looks really composed for a freshman. I was just wondering, you think playing behind an Everett Golson and, and sitting a year, you think that's kind of helped him? Oh, for sure, for sure. I mean, I mean, Everett's a great player, and you know, seeing guys like guys like those play and how they handle it, um, you know, it is extremely helpful. That's why you know I have Anthony room with me. You know, when we go to the road and stuff to the hotels, just so I can try to, you know, give him as much knowledge as I pop as much knowledge as I possibly can. The feel. That's good. Is that one real quick? Uh, first, how you doing? Good. Doing well. Second <laughs> one. Uh, I guess that's two. Uh, second one is um, Dad's talked a lot about uh, the team young growth development, and you know, this is a process going that's going on. Right. Steps. Uh, how much is one of those steps uh, have to be like uh, measuring yourself against like the teams that you kind of run up against lately, like the ranked team? Yeah, know? it's big. It's big. You know, I mean, that's a that's that's like what you that's what you're working towards. Where Louisville's at right now is what what we're working towards. Yeah. You know, what, Clemson same way. But, you know, we can't, you know, we can't get in the habit of kind of, you know, looking too far ahead, I think. You know, I think um, that's good for that to be a goal. And that is obviously, you know, we want to be that good. But um, we got to worry about us right now, right? And we play Florida State on Friday. So, um, you know, we're as good as we're going to be. Right. Um, we're going to improve as much as we can from now until, until Friday at 7. No, that's my question. Uh, and this is something you've had to deal with a couple times. But, I mean, you're, you're here for a short period. Right. But you, you're invested in, in sort of the program's growth for how, uh -huh. how long you're here. How is that sort of? Balance you know, you want to give them everything you possibly can. Um, you know, I mean, they're giving me, you know, a chance to come play a fifth year, a chance to extend my career. You know, so, you know, how how selfish would I be if I didn't didn't give everything I possibly could back? Appreciate it. Good um, job. Thank you. Right. Well, so thanks, guys.